It's not you versus them. It's not you versus her. It's not you versus him. It's you versus you. Sometimes you gotta find a way to overcome yourself. Internal conflict. Yeah, we're gonna have external conflict too, things we gotta deal with on the outside. But the biggest war, the biggest battle we have to win is the war within. Had somebody reach out to me today, left me a message and said, I need, I need some help being motivated. I said, what's wrong? The gentleman said, I, I, I wanna go work out, but I'm just too lazy. Help me. <laughs> it's not about me helping you, it's about you helping yourself. So you got this internal conflict, and that's what he had going on. On one end, I said, why you wanna work out? Because I'm a little chubby, and I wanna get buffed up, I wanna get toned. Okay, so you got one side saying, I wanna work out, I know I need to work out because I, I, I'm a little chubby, I wanna get buffed out, buffed up. On the other side, you got the other side of your body saying, man, just stay, hey, keep eating your bonbons. Hey, we got a great TV show on, this couch is comfortable. Let's be lazy. See, what people fail to realize is doing what feels good right now can cause massive amounts of pain later on in your life. But when you do what's uncomfortable now, what might hurt in the moment, you're setting yourself up for future joy, for future peace of mind. I bet you ate the marshmallow, didn't you? <laughs> you don't know what I'm referring to. There was a study done. They took a group of three-year-old kids, put them in a room individually, put a marshmallow on a plate, Guy came in and said, listen, if you don't eat this marshmallow, when I come back in, I'll give you two marshmallows. So that was a reward. He leave out of the room. Some of the kids just broke. They just focused in so hard on that marshmallow, they couldn't resist. Boom, ate the marshmallow. When he came back in the room, they had already ate it. But other kids, they resisted their temptation by diverting their mindset. They would tie their shoe, they would look around the room, but they wouldn't even pay any attention to that marshmallow. Some of you guys are still that same three-year-old kid that ate the marshmallow. You didn't have the patience. You didn't have the redirection of your mind. You couldn't refocus and look at the reward and see what you were, that future gratification that you were gonna get. See, 50% of the kids in that room did not eat the marshmallow. And they followed those kids. And they found out that the kids that did not eat the marshmallow went on to have much higher levels of success than those that did. And just because you were weak and ate the marshmallow, that does not mean, though, that you can't overcome the internal conflict that you're facing today. You can prove that study wrong. I love this quote. It says, when the internal conflict ends, that's when the peace begins. So I need you to make decisions today that will make your future self proud. And so I told my bro, the one that said he, he was lazy, didn't want to work out, I said, listen to me. You know the reason to get up and work out. So I said, get your butt up and go work out and then let me know how it goes. And he hit me back about a couple hours later and he was like, bro, I went and worked out. It was one of the best workouts I ever had. And that's what you guys forget. When you win an internal battle and you do what you know you should do, after you get it done, you feel so proud of yourself. We need to do things on a daily basis to make ourselves proud. And once we turn one day into two, and two into three, and a week into a month, and a month into a year, we find ourselves winning those internal battles. And when you can win the daily internal battles, you set yourself up to win in your everyday walk with life. It's all about overcoming inner conflict, winning that war within. And you have to just make sure you continue to engage in positive self-talk and knock that negative self-talk that negative you out because it's always you versus you and if you can overcome yourself and you can find a way to get out of that toxic relationship you can find a way to force yourself to go to class every day you can find a way to do the extra push-ups take the extra jump shots catch the extra passes you set yourself up to win so remember it's you versus you and you have the power to release yourself from that mental prison. You have the power to win every inner conflict, internal battle that you face within yourself. And once you do that, you find yourself climbing the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. And this is a great day to win. Let's go.